playing around with procedural materials in Blender is so much fun, isn't it? I mean, look at this, just moving the numbers up and down. What's that? It's so weird looking. But what if you wanted to use these in a, a game engine? Well, you couldn't, could you? But you can if you learn how to bake them. Now, just as a quick reminder, you can only bake in cycles. So if you normally render your stuff in EV, you're gonna to have to switch over to cycles. So we're gonna to have to change a few options here. And since we're gonna be uh, baking a diffuse map, we'll change it, the bake type to diffuse. We just want the color, we don't want any lighting, and we don't want to be baking one object to another. So we uncheck selected to active. Next thing we need to do is we need to create an image texture that we're going to bake our result to. So we'll go and we'll create that image texture there. Uh, press new and then we'll give it a name. We'll probably give it a name like baked. Oh, you mop it. You've got the caps lock on. Put it to baked. There you go switch off the alpha channel, leave everything the same and just create a new image. And that is where we're going to bake our new texture to. So with your new image selected, uh, we'll go over and uh, press bake and you'll see, oh, we've got an error there. No valid selected objects. Ah. So what we need to do is not only have the texture selected, but also the object. And then when you press bake again, it'll bake just fine. So lastly, just before you save your image, you can just go and check it to make sure that it looks right and that it matches the UVs that you've got. And you can see there the, uh, the texture's all working. It's all been baked nicely and uh, it's all ready to be put into a game engine or anything you want to.